Okay. there and just tilt up to look at the okay okay so we're here uh looking at the malibu creek watershed we're looking inland from malibu lagoon and we're looking towards the san fernando valley also up here is the tapia treatment plant that's going to be treating a lot of the waste that's coming from uh that this region of los angeles so relatively steep canyon uh uh relatively uh uh uh, uh, uh you know, Southern California, coastal sage scrub, um, um, fire prone vegetation, very narrow uh, canyon. Halfway through this canyon, Tapia uh, treatment plant is located. Um, now they historically discharged water into the system. They don't routinely discharge a lot of water into the system uh, these days. Most of the water goes into a field, which is then percolated down into the water. So they've done a lot of huge improvements in terms of the water quality. As we look, as we start to look down here, we, we see um, the, the, this freshwater year-round source, Malibu Creek starts, it crosses PCH, or PCH crosses it, relatively deep water channels. We look down, we're looking at the main channel area of the lagoon. As we look more to the west over here, you see the, um, the, the side area that uh, historically was much larger, but for the last many decades has, has been relatively, um, uh, uh, you know, it's smaller. Uh, and uh, the, the historic extent. And what you see is this area of a, essentially a side channel. So it's not in the main flow. It is an area of slower water movement. It is an area of um, not as deep, uh, not, as, not, not, not as, as, as deep uh, depths of the water, even the, when the water is impounded, etc. The pathways, you can see the way uh, visitors rec get to this area is on the top and the side of this, they're gonna follow the path out to the beach. Now, if we keep looking straight down, we're gonna see the main channel. Um, water is gonna come from uh, Malibu Creek down in this main channel, and it's gonna, for most of the year, be retained in this main basin area. Uh, and then as we look around, um, we can see that right now, we're recording this in early October of 2020. What we can see is that this, uh, ch this channel, oh, we're looking at, okay, so we're looking at the mud flat now. And as we look, yeah, so keep going up a little bit. There we go, cool. So now what we're seeing is, is we're seeing the opening. So this area is a breach. So this area is no longer impounded. So what's going on right here is we're seeing exchange of uh, the fresh water with the oceanic marine water. This breach is key. It, it, it varies around. It doesn't always start in the same place, but it typically is more over on this side of the mouth. It could in theory breach anywhere from the Adamson house all the way over to the Malibu colony, but this is typically where it breaches. Um, uh, okay, now if we, keep, if we keep looking, what we'll see over here is um, uh, additional terrestrial habitat and also additional um, uh, building pressure as more and more people want to put in more houses, as more people want to put in higher houses, etc. So this is Malibu Lagoon, uh, a place that has tons of birds. Um, and while it is far from the largest wetland system, it's actually a relatively small wetland system. But because we historically do not have a large number of wetlands up and down the coast in California. We're a geologically young coast. We have relatively uh, a smaller, more discrete wetlands than in areas like the Gulf Coast or the East Coast, whatever, because that was our starting. But then also because we fragmented and filled in and destroyed most of the remnant wetlands, even this relatively small wetland is quite important and very essential for a lot of our wetland dependent organisms and the wetland functioning that benefits other areas outside of our wetland proper.
realize that that was a golf course over here. Next to, I thought that, I thought that was just to get food. Yeah, you have some... Yeah, just move you around. 